I just actually got back from a weekend um, in Medora. Um, it was um, just one of those things where uh, it was for recovery. And so I have to uh, keep up with the recovery world so I stay sober and fellowship with others that are in recovery as well. Um, and yeah, so my plan today was to go hiking and um, and I didn't go. And I'll tell you why. Um, I woke up with like just this overwhelming sense of fear today. And... Uh, and it's like, I'm going to cry. Um, I don't know. I get like fear sometimes where it's like, um, like, I don't know what I'm doing in this world. And, uh, like, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like, what am I doing? Where am I going? What's going on? And it's like, no matter how hard I like draw close to God or like, hear his voice or you know that fear still comes and so you know the I, I think okay what's the next right thing to do what do I do and and I um so I I pray I'm like okay God just guide my thinking guide my thoughts help me to do the next right thing um and it wasn't that I was afraid of like going hiking it was that fear of life fear of failure fear of like what other people think of me um, and all of that stuff just kind of like paralyzed me temporarily and that kept me from going out and enjoying nature and it took over and um, and that isn't a fun place to be and I know that there's other people out there that that have gone through this and so that's why I felt called to share this quick message with you and so what ended up happening is that I, um, I just, I, it was prayer, you know, um, and reaching out, I texted um, a couple friends and I said, hey, I'm struggling today, I need some help, can you pray for me? Um, and, and it's as simple as that, you know, and I just kind of wanted to give you that word of encouragement today too, and if you wake up and you're in fear, you can't explain it. Um, you have a freak out, like panic attack, like, I don't know what's going on, like I'm PMSing and I, you know, and it's, I don't have any money right now, I, you know, I feel like I'm alone, I just want to die, like, I know not like you really want to die, but it's just that feeling that takes over, right? But, um, I'm making coffee right now, I don't know if you guys hear it, but, um, it's, it smells good. Um, but yeah, so... I immediately go to, you know, I get a text back from my friend and she's like, Nikki, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to pray for you and um, just turn on some worship music and really just focus on God's promises. And so I'm like, well, what are God's promises, right? Um, and I, uh, hold on a second, I'm going to go grab my laptop because um, I want to share with you what I found today. So just a second, hold on. Okay. Hey, Cosmo. Okay. So I think it's important to always just go dive into the truth whenever you feel like you're being like filled with lies. And so I was, like I said, um, my friend was like, okay, just focus on God's promises. And I'm like, well, there's so many promises, right? So how do we know what they are? And I looked it up on my phone and I just typed in what is a list of God's promises, right? And honestly, like, there was a ton of them that stood out to me, and um, and I'll just share with you um, one of the first ones that I found, honestly, and um, it was a like a blog from some guy, and he was talking about um, reading through the Bible and then he just said what God what promises have has God given me and and so some of the ones that just stuck out to me the most was um, was Joshua 1 9 it says for the Lord my God will be with me wherever I go um, and I know that to be true God is with us all the time and there's times where I just feel so alone and and this verse was just reassurance to me like that God is with me wherever I go um, and then the second one, it says, it's Isaiah 26, 
three, it says, God will keep me in perfect peace if my mind is focused on him. And so naturally, whenever I'm in fear, my, my mind wants to go every single which way. And, and, and something that I've learned is that whatever I focus on expands. And so it's like if I'm focusing on what I don't have, I don't have the money. I don't have any friends with me right now. I don't have anybody encouraging me. I and I, I don't have you know I don't have a, a plan or a clue of how I'm going to make my rent this month. Um, I don't you know it's just all this stuff, right? I don't have money to get health insurance. I don't have um, my you know my hormones are out of whack. If that's all I'm focusing on, that's all I'm gonna see, right? But the truth is, is that when we're focused on God and His promises for us, that's going to expand and and um, it's. And he cares for us in, in all things. The Holy Spirit's going to guide us to truth when we're focused on, on him, right? And so that's kind of like where I was led. Um, it says, I'm justified by him and by his grace, Romans 3.24. Um, it says, the Holy Spirit will help me to pray, Romans 8.26. All things work together for my good. Um, Romans 8.28, nothing can separate me from the love of Christ. Romans 8.35, um, I'm being transformed into his likeness. 2 Corinthians 3.17, God comforts the downcast, including me. 2 Corinthians 3.17, and that is so true. And what I have learned is that God never fails me. Man can fail me, money can fail me, food can fail me, my body may fail me, but Christ never does. And so when I'm focused on Him and on His love for me, I find comfort in that and that's all that matters. And I just wanted to give you that encouraging word today. So I love you, I'm praying for you, and I know that God loves you too. All right? And if you have any prayer requests, if you have any comments, um, just any praises that you want to uh, just celebrate, I want to celebrate that with you. So feel free to post your comments below. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the group. Bye.